Thank you for joining me. It's Janoa with The Crafty Mess. I'm also owner of Brie K. Amore, moderator and admin for Black Girls Crafting Network on Facebook. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're here with another video. Today we're going to be doing memorial ornaments. They're also uh, known as floating ornaments. I'm going to be using the disc ornaments from Michaels in two different sizes. I have the three and four inch. I'm also going to be using some embellishments that I have on hand and transparency film, um, the printable kind, so that we can go ahead and just print these out on your regular home printer. Um, I'm also going to show you how to create the template so that you can make these using your Cricut machine. Stay tuned if you'd like to know more about this. Again, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell. Share with all your crafty friends who think that they may learn from watching one of my videos. Again, as always, thank you for joining me. Let's get right into the design process. We're going to start off by going into Cricut Design Space. Okay, so from your Cricut Design Space homepage, hit your plus for new project. And then we're going to right away enter two shapes, a circle and a square. And what we're going to do is create our templates for our inserts. I'm using a three inch disc ornament, so I'm going to make the template for the inside a little bit smaller so it'll fit nice with no issues with curling or not being able to open properly and then I'm going to size down the square to it's like a slim rectangle and that will create our tab that we're going to have sticking up the top draw box over both go to a line and center horizontal and then once that's done we'll weld both of those together to create our template shape Next I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to insert the image that I'll be using for my ornament. If you do not know how to insert an image into Cricut Design Space, you're just going to uh, browse, find the image and bring it on in. There's several videos online showing you how to do that and I've done it before in some of my previous videos as well. So now I have my picture, what I want to do is I want to insert another shape, circle, I'm going to unlock the dimensions and we're going to make it an oval shape, okay, and just drag that over the picture and then you're going to draw a box over both of them and slice out that picture. So I can get rid of that, this is the picture we're going to keep and use and then we can get rid of that scrap. Right now I'm just going to highlight the picture and then close the eye because we're not going to be working with it just yet. But I want to take a moment um, just to give this beautiful woman a shout out. This is my best friend's mother who recently passed of cancer. Um, I want to thank everyone for your prayers. Uh, she was able to live um, for another four months after her diagnosis when they were skeptical and um, and saying only weeks. So, praise God, everything, um, everything is everything. <laughs> All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to now insert the design for our template. I'm not going to be using something that I'm going to be creating from scratch. I'm just going to get something out of Cricut Design Space. So, I typed in Memorial in my search, and then went to phrases and I scrolled down to find the design that I'm going to be using which is this one here and then I went ahead and hit insert. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my picture, close the eye on that, click on my template, close the eye on that as well to where we're only left with our design. This design says because someone we love is in heaven, there's a bit of heaven in our home. So. I'm going to be changing this design a bit to make sure that I have room for my picture. If you notice, it's a pretty full design. I don't have anywhere to stick my picture. So I'm going to make some changes and adjustments to the design um, so that I don't have to create a 
brand new one from scratch. First thing I want to do is I want to duplicate that twice. And hopefully it'll make sense as to why I'm doing it this way. So I'm going to highlight and select the first one and I'm going to go to contour. Size it down so it's easier to see. And then what I want to do is I want to click on this bird, click on this bird, and then I'm going to click on this word heaven and take it out of my design. It's too big and I don't have anywhere that I can fit my photo. I'm also going to be removing these words there is from the design and that just gives me more room for my photo. So once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and click out and then you can see here the birds and both um, phrases have been taken out. I'm going to click on my second one and what I want to do is now I want to get rid of everything with the exception of the word heaven. So with it highlighted I hit contour, size it down, this time I'm going to hit hide all contours and you notice it took away everything except for the last portion of that word and I'm going to go back in and highlight all the pieces that I need put back into my design and then I'm going to exit out. So now I have my word heaven that I can now size down and move over on my design. All right, last but not least, on the third one, we're going to do the same thing. Except for this time, we need just the words there is. So I'm going to size it down, hit hide all contours, and I'm going to put the words there is back into the design. And then I'm going to highlight everything else that I want taken out. And then exit out. I'm going to size those down a bit. Go ahead and put it back into our design where I want it to go. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a box over all of that and I'm going to group. And then that way um, things don't shift. Okay, it's just going to stay where I want it until I'm ready to do my next steps. So let's go ahead and highlight our photo, uncheck the box so that we can bring it back onto our map, and then we're going to size that down so that it fits into our design. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to the back so that I can pick up this photo easily without any problems. Alright, let's go ahead and just open it up a little bit bigger. I think that looks good just like that. So what I want to do is draw over everything, group them together, again so they just move together and I don't have to worry about anything coming out of place. And then I'm going to highlight and bring my template back. We want to change the color to white on that template, okay? And then I'm going to bring the design and size it up. Okay, that looks good. Maybe a little bit bigger. I'm going to draw over everything, go to align, center horizontal, and that looks good. All right, so let's go ahead and flatten. When you hit flatten, you basically have compressed all those layers down into one flat layer that's going to print and cut out like it's a sticker. So instead of it cutting out all these pieces individually, it's just going to cut out one piece, which is that circle template shape that we made. So we can go ahead and hit make it. This is what it's going to look like after it prints out and we put it on our mat. Go ahead and hit continue. I'm using the Cricut Maker, which has an option for transparency film. If you go to browse all materials, you can search for transparency film, or you can search plastic and then select transparency. So when you send it to printer, you want to remove your bleed. I'm going to be using my system dialog box, but you don't have to check whatever is the best settings for your particular printer. 
I'm just changing a couple things here for the printer that I'm going to be using, which is the HP OfficeJet Pro 8610. And then uh, let's go ahead and go over to our printer so I can show you what I'll be doing there. Okay, so it printed out. And what I did is just trimmed it down a little bit and put it on my map. But I wanted to show you guys that um, it turned out really well. And you want to let your ink dry a bit because the transparency film is slick. Um, the ink is going to kind of just sit on top for a while until it dries. So let it dry completely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and load it into our Cricut machine. Let's just get this camera turned. My big old head. Okay, so hopefully you can see. What I'm going to do is go ahead and load that into the machine. And I've selected the transparency setting. Because it is a print and cut, it's going to go ahead and go through the process of locating those registration marks. And then it, it'll cut the shape out. And then once it's done that, then we'll go ahead and be back to show you next steps. Okay, so I've unloaded my transparency film. And I cut it out twice because when I was cutting out... Um, before for some ornaments I was making I cut just once and I found that it didn't cut it out all the way um, so I just uh, ran it through two times so this is what it looks like you can see the little tab up there at the front and the picture turned out really well okay so what I'm gonna do is let me get my little protective sheet for my mat and we're going to move this over to the side. Now I purchased this uh, big tube of ornaments from Michaels. It was $20 for the whole box and let me see how many are in here. Um, what does it say? $25. So 25 of these round 3 inch disc ornaments. For $20 and then I believe they are 50% off right now okay so here's the ornament here's our insert what you want to do is you want to take the top of the ornament off now what I've been doing and this is optional is I have some diamond wrap that I got from Dollar Tree. Sorry, the roll is like coming all apart. But you can get this in the floral section at the Dollar Tree. Six foot roll, it's only one dollar. What I did is I took it and wrapped it around the top of the ornament to get a measurement. So about right here and then I can just find my scissors I'm gonna cut I'll take this and put this to the side and then you only need two rows of this for each top so I'm gonna cut off two rows and I'm gonna put this other part to the side scissors to the side as well so here are my two rows of diamond wrap and you want to start it um, either in the back um, I wouldn't recommend doing it on the side because you don't want you don't want people to look at the ornament from the side and you can see uh, bulge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue Gun, my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put a little string of hot glue and then take 
my diamond wrap and position it on the hot glue. Okay, and then you just repeat that until you have it completely covered. And it just gives it a, a more finished and decorative look. So, and that only took a couple of seconds to do, not very long. So now we have embellished the top of our ornament. Uh oh. Hot glue is sticking all to my fingers. Okay, so now we have an embellished ornament top. And then let me show you how you would uh, insert your template into your disc ornament. So, sorry, it's just bothering me with all that. What you do is you take your ornament and you're going to roll it like this. Okay. And then once you have it rolled up, you're going to just insert it into the top of the ornament. And then holding your tab, once you put it in, see it just kind of opens up on its own. And now we have this little piece of plastic that is hanging out. Now you have an option of just leaving it like this or... You can take your hot glue gun and just put a little dab of hot glue on the back and hot glue the little tab to the back. It's completely up to you how you want to do that. I've never really hot glued mine. I just kind of bend it a little bit and then take my top of my ornament and then squeeze in those little clamps if I can do that come on now there we go oh shoot there boom finally okay so now we have your floating ornament with a bling bling embellished top and you can end it like that or all I did was glue a little bow to the front of the ornament being careful not to put it on the top so that the top can be removed so that's another thing and then the final step is to adding the rhinestones and the little bow um, I ordered some feathers from Amazon and I'll link them below um, and I just wanted to see what it would look like with the feathers inside that will kind of tie into the birds that are included in the design so I'm just gonna open and separate looks like there are different sizes which is good um, it's actually what I was hoping for is that they would be different sizes and not um, all the same so what I'm going to do is take the top off and stick some of the feathers in the inside and then all right so there you have it finished product after I have added a few of the feathers and what the white feathers have done is created a background for the photo and the transparent film so that you can see the picture a lot better than previously. So I'm going to show you an example. These are a little bit bigger, but you can see that this one doesn't have any feathers inside of it yet. And the photo is just a little more difficult to see, although this one is bigger this is a four inch um, disc and this is a three inch disc but look at the one with the feathers in the background it 
has really created um, that white background has made the picture pop on that transparent and then that's what it kind of looks like in the back now I could add more feathers or less feathers it's really up to you you don't have to do feathers at all um, another good option would probably be and I may try it adding like some white pearls in the back um, the options are really endless and what I did is um, I just took the feathers stuck them down in you have to be mindful that you're sticking it behind your transparency film you don't want any feathers in front blocking any of the wording so you do want them in the back and then I just kind of took this little bead reamer that I use for just about everything and used it to manipulate them and get them where I wanted them to go. So this is the conclusion of our tutorial for how to create a floating memorial ornament. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I love all your comments and be sure to share with your other crafty friends. This is Chinoa with A Crafty Mess signing out. Until next time, bye.